Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Adding Fractions 3. Presentation. Tidying the result. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. This video is part of a suite of videos to help people understand fractions. In the overview Adding Fractions 1, we introduced three steps to adding fractions. Preparation, Operation, Presentation. In the preparation step, we made sure that the fractions had the same denominator. In the operation step, we added the fractions with the common denominators. In the presentation step, we tidy up the answer. That is the topic of this video. In the presentation step, we put the answer into its simplest form, and we put it as a mixed number rather than an improper fraction if needed. This makes a fraction easier to recognise. This video draws on the videos Expressing Fractions in Simplest Form and Mixed Fractions and Improper Fractions. Check in the description below for links to more videos and resources to help you with fractions. The result of a fraction operation is often not in its tidiest form. For example, 3 tenths plus 9 tenths equals 12 tenths. Is 12 tenths tidy? There are two aspects to consider, simplest form and proper. Is 12 tenths in simplest form? A fraction is in simplest form when there is no whole number that goes evenly into the numerator and into the denominator. 12 tenths is not in simplest form as 2 goes evenly into 12 and into 10. Is 12 tenths a proper fraction? A fraction is a proper fraction when the numerator is less than the denominator. For 12 tenths, the numerator, 12, is greater than the denominator, 10, so this is an improper fraction. Let's tidy it up. First, we simplify 12 over 10 by dividing both numbers by 2, giving 6 fifths. This is now in simplest form, but it is not proper yet. Next, we see that 5 fifths make up 1 whole, and there is 1 fifth left over, so the answer is 1 and 1 fifth. The fraction is now tidy. The size of the fraction has not changed, but the way it is written can make it easier to see how much it is. You can see in the following sequence that the shaded area stays the same, while the description or label changes. 12 tenths equals 6 fifths, which equals 1 and 1 fifth. Here is another example of tidying up. 2 thirds plus 5 sixths equals 9 sixths. Is 9 sixths tidy? No, it is not in simplest form as 3 goes into 9 and into 6. And it is an improper fraction as 9 is greater than 6. So first we simplify 9 over 6 by dividing both numbers by 3, giving 3 halves. This is now in simplest form but it is not proper yet. Next we see that 2 halves make 1 whole and there is 1 half left over, so the answer is 1 and a half. 9 6 equals 3 halves, which equals 1 and 1 half. We can do this in the other order and still get the same answer. 9 6 equals 1 and 3 6, which equals 1 and 1 half. Sometimes we do not need to do anything to the answer. 1 6 plus 3 quarters equals 11 twelfths. 11 twelfths is in its simplest form, and it is a proper fraction, so it stays as it is. I will do two more examples and then give you some to practice on. Example 4, 11 eighths. 5 eighths plus 3 quarters equals 11 eighths. Is 11 eighths tidy? It is in simplest form as there is no number that goes into 11 and into 8. But it is an improper fraction as 11 is greater than 8. 8 eighths makes 1 whole and there are 3 eighths left over so the answer is 1 and 3 eighths. 11 eighths equals 1 and 3 eighths. Example 5, 25 thirtieths. Is 25 thirtieths tidy? No, it is not in simplest form as 5 goes into 25 and into 30. It is a proper fraction as 25 is less than 30. We simplify 25 thirtieths by dividing both numbers by 5, giving 5 sixths. 25 thirtieths equals 5 sixths. Here are four more for you to try yourself. The answers are at the end of the video. Give each of the fractions in tidy form, that is, in simplest form and not as an improper fraction. 17 fifteenths, 14 tenths, 3 fourths, 18 eighteenths. 
This video has been about the final stage of fraction addition. See in the description below to links to the other videos in this series on fraction addition. Please like this video, subscribe, but most of all join the channel, especially if you are using our videos in your teaching. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible. And special thanks to my super supporters Rana El Zamil and Kiwi Kid in the USA. Here are the answers to the practice exercises. 17 fifteenths equals 1 and 2 fifteenths. 14 tenths equals 1 and 2 fifths. 3 quarters is already tidy and 18 eighteenths equals 1 whole.